DIY USB powered light tools uh, items you needed yeah there they are okay we're gonna take this light uh, push button light it's got some kind of switch on the inside it is battery powered uh, we don't want that batteries run out I use it at my computer desk anyway so let's make it happen we're gonna take out the screws that hold the battery plate in place um, yours may have more some of these pop lights or whatever can have whatever they put on so we remove that and we see that just connected to this is just like any other electronics they black and red wire power and ground so we're just gonna snip off you can pull it rip it just be careful to don't pull them off the board or you have to solder okay so now we have our power ground let's go ahead and put the screws back in to to hold the board into its place I also noticed with this one if you tried pushing on the board or pushing on the button on the front of it the board would fall out the back so screws are necessary to go right back in see there it doesn't move it doesn't push the circuit out of place it stays nice and snug to strip the wires and connect these bad boys. Here I've just got a uh, USB cable from any random old electronic. Uh, I'm just going to cut it in half and then strip the wire. I don't have wire strippers for this so I just used a, an X-Acto knife. Uh, you can use strippers and X-Acto knife, teeth, whatever. So now that we see our wires, these USBs have, usually have four wires. I've seen some with two. If you've got one that's with two, you've lucked up, but most have four. Uh, we need the red and the black, of course. Let's match up the colors. It's that simple. Uh, toss away the green and white. We'll just clip those away later. There we go. Clip them away. And here you have your stripped black and red wire. You have to strip them. They don't look like that. Strip the wires on the circuit as well. And then you see you have your USB, which the colors match up perfectly to the circuit. So we just need to connect. I also found that this back plate here uh, looks really nice when it's back on. It has a hole through it, so what we can do is just slide the cable or the USB cable right through the hole. Um, that way we could just connect the USB and then snap this back plate on and it looks it looks pretty uniform, it looks nice. Once you've slipped it through, you're pretty much good to just begin connecting and twisting your wires. You can solder at this point, but uh, this was just a simple video. Um, I just chose to twist and, and tape, and uh, it, that'll work just as good. That way, if you want to break it down in the future, I mean, it's not so difficult to, to remove solder and clip wires. You just, you just, just yank on it. So once you have it all taped up and all set, uh, set back in, you can put the back on. As you can see, the back makes it look really nice, just snaps in place. Um, the cable hangs out the back, looks like it was meant to be that way. You're good to plug this thing up and try it. And there we go. Plugged it right into the computer USB. We have LED. Some of these LEDs come with some kind of uh, adhesive or Velcro to stick it to anything. It'd be a nice keyboard light, something near the computer. Just an all-around easy DIY project. And that's pretty much it.